So guys, most of the G back with you with another video. Now, you never think I would ever make this video, but this is going to be a video about the main reasons why GTA Online glitching content and community is dying. All right. Now, this is a crazy, crazy topic, everybody. I want to talk to you about this. Now, I haven't made an informational video in like such a long time. It's probably about three years since the last made one. So guys, yeah. So... Uh, before we start the video, I would like you to like this video, subscribe, turn your post notifications on if you want to see any more GTA videos, which I will. All right, guys, so let's get into this video, all right? <coughs> With everything out of the way. So I'm going to give my top eight. Uh, basically, is basically my top eight thing, me, reasons why the game is dying, all right? And you can give your honorable, uh, your honorable mentions or honorable mentions uh, down in the comment section below, right? The first one is going to be number one repetitive content and nothing new so basically everybody the content in gta there is nothing new in gta at all it's very repetitive when it comes to <coughs> content it's the same videos really over and over and over again especially me as a content creator especially in glitching and it just seems to get i'm just sick of, i'm just seem to get sick of it and it seems to get very very boring and repetitive and it doesn't seem to excite people you know what i mean it seems like every single week it's the same thing over and over and over again and it's just really just not doing too well. And it's not doing too well for other people as well, not just me. I li I'm literally seeing it. It's actually quite crazy, everybody, how this game has fell off in 2023 so far, all right? So that's number one, okay? So number two is Rockstar patching all the fun glitches, right? Rockstar is patching all the fun glitches, like the likes of gift cards to friends, car to car merges, car duplication glitches. Uh, the list goes on and on with different cool glitches, everybody. <coughs> and they even remember... I remember they removed the checkerboard. Uh, what was it? The checkerboard outfits? Yes, they actually blacklisted the checkerboard, but now it's, it's now back again. But it's a different checkerboard design. It's not their OG checkerboard that we used to have. Um, but unfortunately, everybody, yeah, all the fun glitches are getting patched, and we could just see all these fun glitches going away. And the card car merge is especially the solo one, the LS Carmi card car merge. We can't find another like another workaround on that. It's quite crazy, everybody, how it, all this is playing out, all right? So that's number two, everybody, all right? Number three, and <coughs> this is a big one. Ban waves on money wipes. Now, back, everybody, years ago, now, <coughs> I don't know about the Lester Plain glitch, but the Lester Plain glitch, I believe, when it was working, they did have a ban wave. Um, they might have had a ban wave, I'm not too sure, but I remember the SP and MP Casino money glitch. People were getting ban, uh, ban wave from that. Basically, there was a ban wave going on, or a character reset, or just basically a count reset. Um, that was going on. It was just crazy, everybody, how it all happened. Um, and I remember the apartment glitch. That got a lot of people gone as well. But I avoided that apartment glitch. I was actually in vacation at the time. I forgot all my belongings on, you know, when it comes to the Xbox. It was about to bring the Xbox up to my holiday house. But thank God it didn't because if I would have did that, I would have got my account reset. But it didn't because when I came back, I heard everybody's account got reset because it was patched as soon as I came back from the vacation. It's a crazy story, everybody. But that is number three. And that's probably a big one. That turned everybody off from the game once it got either banned or character reset or money wipe this and that all right so number four it is going to be 200 plus cars has been from removed from gta that might sound crazy everybody <coughs> i think this was from the summer update when it released gta has actually reportedly removed it 200 plus cars from gta uh, and that's a big slide for everybody uh, especially with people that have been playing the game for uh, such a long time and they could just see all the cars that they've been playing and driving for years are no longer available to purchase on the stores now you still will have it in your garage don't worry it's not gonna remove from your garage but yes it w you cannot purchase it anymore the only way you can purchase it is through the ls car meet uh doing that ls car meet uh trade but if you're an old gen unfortunately you can't <laughs> you can't you have to get a new gen in order to get them uh cars that you cannot purchase again it that's a, pro a really really big one in my opinion 200 plus cars did remove from gta uh, it's probably because the game is getting that large, the game is getting too big, and they really just couldn't, the, just the whole market size, the whole, you know, market size is getting too big, so they had to remove cars in the game to decrease 
the basically the storage of the game okay uh the, no this is a very big one <coughs> sorry if i have a bad cough everybody i'm trying my best but uh number five is channel copyright strikes and termination now yes guys i've been a history i have a history of multiple copyright strikes on rockstar games um you guys know it yourself if you guys been here long enough you will understand how i went through the copyright strikes and been through multiple layoffs and um yeah termination as well it literally just turned everybody off from just basically shying away making content and it just goes to show that Rockstar does not want anything when it comes to glitching. And when I, when I upload like the likes of Forza Horizon 5, the Crew Motorfest, I'm getting no copyright strikes. That's why I'm abusing glitches on them games and posting content for you guys. But when it comes to GT, everybody, it's very, very harsh when it comes to content. And they seem to just take down videos and it's crazy. And they still do it right now in 2023. It's quite crazy how they're still doing it for so many years. This game is 10 years old and they're still doing it. I just can't believe it. So that is another one, everybody. Number five is Channel Copyright Strikes and Termination. Number six is Rockstar can't fix their shit. <coughs> Rockstar can't fix the shit. Basically, there are so much bugs in their in their game that it is literally painful. Um, when it comes to just different things in general, when it is just so buggy like it, there is it, it just doesn't work functionally sometimes there is always bugs in this game and uh it just seems like the whole lobbies are getting worse the npcs are basically getting stupider each update it looks like i don't even know what's going on in gta it just seems like their iqs are dropping or something and they're getting so much dumber <coughs> but there's multiple bad things about this game when it comes to glitches and stuff like now when it comes to glitches like in-game bugs and stuff that shouldn't be there um yeah so that is number six everybody so number seven has to be uh rockstar remastered uh the game way too far i literally thought they remastered the game too far uh basically i thought they we call it basically remastered their game too much and i believe they shouldn't have remastered it again for newer gens they should literally just kind of just improve the graphics a little bit and then just put it on to you know the new gen consoles uh basically the new gen consoles are yes the xbox series x and s <coughs> and all that sorts of stuff everybody and uh basically it's it's quite crazy uh, what I, the way i think a number seven is but Let's go on to the last one, number eight. So number eight, everybody, is overhyped updates and the ENE disappointment, which is expanded and enhanced disappointment. Now, this one is uh, pretty, pretty interesting, everybody. So overhyped updates, like the likes of the summer update was pretty overhyped. It was another one, the Los Angeles. I thought the Los Angeles tuners was a good update. Uh, there was other updates in the past, the likes of the Diamond Casino one and they're all good heists, but it seems like the newer heists nowadays, everybody, they're just getting more worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And uh, the, the more recent ones is just getting very, very much bad that <coughs> the basically it just is a disappointment. Um, the updates, I can tell you why they're a disappointment, everybody, because Rockstar doesn't want to expand their map. They don't want to expand their map, and I thought that Cayo Perico was going to be an expansion to the map, an add-on to the map, but in reality it wasn't. There was a heist that you basically you couldn't get to, you couldn't actually go to the place and visit it, but you could because there was a glitch working about it. There was a glitch working about uh, to get how to get to the Cayo Perico, glitch to the Cayo Perico, but I believe that is patched. I don't think it works anymore, but... Um, Everybody, I believe that the updates, see, Rockstar in the past, everybody, and just right now in general, uh, they're milking updates. They're, they're, they're milking updates. They're going to make what, um, there's a Halloween update now coming up very, very, very soon. And then there's going to be a Christmas one. And then, yeah, you know, it's it's just a whole cycle over and over and over again. And there might be another heist update now, probably somewhere early next year. Um, it's just quite crazy, everybody. Now, <clears throat> let me know in your honorable mentions in this everybody let me know any honorable mentions that you can mention any points that what other points you can think of why gta 5 is dying currently right now in the online community and the glitching community because the way i see it everybody it's not going too well 
Um, right now though, uh, the content on TikTok seem to be doing a lot better right now. It seems like on YouTube, everybody, it's falling off. And on YouTube, it's falling off like rapidly. It's just, it's just, just dramatically falling off. But on TikTok, everybody, it seems like it's still trendy enough on TikTok. I don't know if more people are on TikTok, probably more people in the world are using TikTok than YouTube these days. I really, really, really don't know. But if guys want to follow up with TikTok, you can if you want link down in the description below we're on the road to 10k we're on uh, nearly two a thousand followers right now everybody make sure you do follow up the uh the, the tiktok i basically post uh just the same videos i post on this they're just reposted on tiktok you know what i mean just create a fan base over there if you want to check it out everybody you can also and uh i think that's it everybody i think that sums it up really uh let me know what you think about um you know any honorable mentions about why this game is dying why the glitch you know community is dying um but that's it everybody hope to see you guys if you have video subscribe hit that like button with the bernarkas guys and stay tough bye peace and see you in the next video whatever it be i don't know but i'm gonna see gonna try to make more crew motor fest videos and will be gta don't worry i'm not done with gta i'm not done with this game <coughs> at all this is not a video like i'm done gta i'm not i'm just Wanted to make this video for quite a while because what I've been seeing right now, everybody, is quite crazy in the YouTube community. And just just when it comes to GDA, YouTube community is madness. All right, guys. Peace. And see you in the next video. Tropical.